Hello friends. Namaskar Dusto. I am Upper Baroy. Making an interesting video series for you about Transformer. The question is that. How to make a 12 volt UPS transformer in your home. So let's go to the project screen. At first, I discuss the theory of transformer, and next the actual process of making. Here it is a 12 volt transformer, I have written. Now I am drawing a somatic diagram for this transformer. This is the turns for primary winding, in which five joins are there. One is for zero volt, that is common for AC mains. The first one is for 120 volt, the second one is for 140 volt, and the third one is for 180 volt, and the fourth one is for 200 volt, and the last one is for 220 volt. The next winding is the middle turns and the next one is the secondary turns. In which I mark the primary as A, B, C, D, E, F and the middle is G, H and the secondary turn is I, J, K. L where I connect J and K together for common as ground for 0 volt. And the other two wire for 12 and 12 volt. The middle turn is for 14 volt having total 60 turns. And the secondary wire has total 25 turns, two wire together. T is the transformer core. As you can see. Now the question arises is that, how to calculate the turns of the wire. For this purpose, first we have to calculate the core area, CA, as it is a EI core transformer, so I am drawing the image of this. Now the most important point for remember is that, The formula in physics VP by VS equal to NP by NS does not follow in real when you make a transformer in your home, remember this. So don't apply this formula for making transformer. When you apply this formula in physics then error becomes due to core area, because in this formula core area is not included and also due to heat produced by transformer and the power dissipation. So don't apply this formula. Now let's see the formula by which the actual transformer is made. Here is the core having its length and breadth, you may call its width. So the core area is equal to length into breadth. And the unit will be meters square. In SI unit.
it is the bobbin, where you can see the length and breadth of the bobbin. In my case the length of the bobbin is 3.8 cm implus that 0.038 m. And the breadth is equal to 3.0 cm implus that 0.030 m. Multiplying it and find the core area. So the core area is 0.00114 meters square. Now I am calculating the turns per volt. TPV, which is equal to 1 by 4.44 into 1 into core area into frequency. Where 4.44 is the constant, and CA for core area and frequency we take 50 hertz. And we take flux density 1 for normal steel and 1.3 for ordinary steel. So now calculate the TPV which is equal to 3.95131974048. So remember this TPV I am using calculator for calculation. Take all the digit after the point. Because it is required for next calculation. Now I remark this TPV and CA. Now another question arises is that, how to calculate the primary, middle, and secondary wire turns with the help of TPV. Important note is that, as you repair the transformer because it has been damaged. So when you open this damaged transformer so remember the number of turns of the secondary wire. Because it is required for next calculation. In my case the secondary turns were 25 turns in total. Also I am showing you how to connect the secondary wire. Ok. Now how to calculate the primary turns. The formula is here. Primary turns is equal to TPV into input voltage.
So for the first point AB.1, point the primary turns will be TPV into 120 volt, and result becomes 474 turns. And, for the second point BC.2, point the primary turns will be TPV into 140 volt, and result becomes 553 turns. And, for the third point CD.3, point the primary turns will be TPV into 180 volt, and result becomes 711 turns. For the fourth point DE.4, point the primary turns will be TPV into 200 volt, and result becomes 790 turns. For the fifth point EF.5, point the primary turns will be TPV into 220 volt, and result becomes 869 turns. Or you can write 870 turns. If you want to connect only one voltage that is 220 voltage so you must winding the copper wire for 870 turns in total. Alright. Similarly, you can winding the middle and secondary turns. But remember that it is just different from primary winding. As I am showing. So turns of secondary wire will be TPV into 1.04 into voltage output. As I required 12 volt, so taking this value gives the result 50 turns for secondary wire. So when I connect two wire together then I need only 25 turns for completing 50 turns and the turns of the middle wire be TPV in 1.04 into voltage output. So TPV into 1.04 into 14 volt gives the result 58 turns, which is nearly equal to 60 turns, where 1.04 is also another constant. Hence all formula can be used if you know the input voltage and the output voltage. But if you don't know the input voltage, output voltage as well as the diameter of the primary and secondary wire then you need to watch my another video for choosing them. I will give you the process by which you can select diameter of the wire. So watch my next video. So, 
ear is the components for making transformer is to be needed for this purpose. You can see it is the transformer bobbin, the next one is the primary coil, it is the wax paper, and it is the split jumper. It is the electrical tape. It is dendrite or you can use hard glue, and the last one is the varnish, which is used to accumulate the primary and secondary wire after making. All these components you can be bought from any electrical shop. Thank you for watching my video. For next video click on the link given in the description.